Hello guys, I welcome you back to my channel. In today's video, I'm teaching you how to use the updated version of the MetaTrader 5 as a beginner. Preview the boots, the charts, the trades, the history, and the messages. So after reviewing all these parts of MetaTrader 5, I believe that by, by then you'll be pro in using the MetaTrader 5. So stick to this video where we go back to chart to code. The first thing we'll talk about here is these trend lines that is there. If you click on this trend line to show you the broker that I'm using, this is the broker that I'm using, Xnest. So if you want to log into your own broker, just click on that place that they wrote Manage Accounts. If you click on Manage Accounts, then it will show, uh, show you the list of brokers that I'm using. I'm using uh, Xnest and Deriv. So if you want to sign up with my own broker, you can go to the description. Or you can click on this plus icon and input your own broker. For instance, I'm using Deriv. I can type the read now and it will pop up. Any book I use will definitely pop up there. Then click on it and then impute your login details like your login, impute your password, and then if you are using them or any server, just choose your server and then don't forget to click on the login and you will be logging to the book I want to use it. So back to what you have today with the book that I'm using, I'm using Nextness. So after you go, the next thing I will like learn, learn to, to, to know is this plus sign here. If you click on it, it will show you the assets that my broker offer. My broker offers crypto, energies, forex, indices. For us, let us go for, for forex group. So if I click on forex group now, these, these are plenty for it. There are many forex that you can choose. But let me just type the one that I need now. I want to see USD JPY. So this is USDJPY. If you click on it, it will appear in your codes. Now let's go back and check if it appeared. Look at it, guys. It actually appeared. Now let's go back to that plus icon. Then check another this time around. Let's go for stocks. Let me impute US30. So this US30, just click on it, touch it, it will appear in your codes. Let's go back and check if it appeared. Look at it. It's the last one there. So let's check another stocks. Let's check if we can add another one. Then look at look at this US 500. Let's click on it. Definitely, if you go back, we see it here in your quotes. That's it, guys. So if you want to add more, like let's say I want to add a New Zealand dollar. It's in forest group, but I can't find it. Just go to the search button and type it there. Type the symbol NZD. USD, USDT, you can see then touch it, then go back, and then you see it appear there as the last one. That's it for that plus icon. Then you see that pencil icon there. So that pencil icon there is just like just like editing. But any quotes, any access in code that you click, like I just click on the that US New Zealand dollar and it shows me the chart. Then if you click on that chart, you take it to this chart, but we'll still come back to the chart later. Let us go back and continue on the pencil icon. So if you click on that pencil icon, just like editing what you have in your quotes. Let me say you can add there and you can delete. Let's say I want to delete BTC, BTC Australian dollar. So just pick, click on it, just select it, and then click on that delete button and it will delete automatically. Okay, let's delete one more. Let me say I want to delete this. Click on that delete button and then choose the one you want to delete and then click on that delete it to just disappear that's it so if you go back to our quotes look at the assets the assets no more there it has just disappeared yeah so the next one is let's go and change broker here's just my excellence just click on manage account and then click on derive the one and i'm told i'm using two brokers so if you want to change broker that's just the method just click on manage account so this time around what you've seen in the is just crash boom volatility but jumps and the rest of them step index so if you want to trade this kind of commodity and uh, asset, just go to the description, create account with them. You can watch my video and see how I do it. So if you want to go back, just click on that press icon and then click on manage account. Then you go back. So let's continue from what we stop in charts. So in charts, guys, what we have here is the menu where you can switch all you are trading. Like all, everything in quotes, you can switch them there. Like instead of you going to quotes, just click on that place, on that other menu. If you click on it there, yeah, it will change it. Just make sure that is what you have there. Look at it. If you click on that other menu, then choose anywhere you want to trade. Then look at it USD. So that's it. Click on it and then choose anywhere you want to trade. So the next one is this crosshair. This crosshair shows the differences in price. Like let me put this in just in 
in, in just the, this is the price now then use the other finger and draw it up so the one in the left is your candle differences while the one in the right is the price differences it's 17 candle and just like that then this symbol here is for indicators if you click on that, this one then choose the indicator you want look at so many indicators as i here let me say i want to use bollinger bands so where is Bollinger Bands? Look at it. If you click on it, then go back to your charts. Click on Done. Then go back to your charts. You see Bollinger Bands surrounding your charts. So some people use this as a strategy to trade the forex market. So that's it. Then if you click on that place again, let's add one more indicator. Let's add Relative Strength Index. It's a popular indicator that normally use. Then click on Relative Strength Index. Then click on Done. And then go back to your charts. You see a Relative Strength Index just below the charts. Now let's go and remove all of them. Click on that place. If you click uh, in that indicator, then click on that delete symbol. Choose what you want to delete. I'm deleting Bolica Banks and Relative Strength Index. Click on delete and everything is out. Let's go and see. You see, there is nothing here again. This 15 minutes is just for time frame. You can change your time frame like 1 minute, 15 minutes. Just click on that time frame. It will come out. Anyone you want, you can just choose. Okay, let me click on one on 30 minutes let me check 30 minutes you can see these are 30 minutes candlestick time frame so that's it guys so for this just for time frame you can navigate them this is for four hour time frame everything then the next one is this symbol here this symbol here signifies all this uh, this particular symbol that's the next one this symbol if you click on it it should show you buy sell limits stop limit and the rest of them but this is a very big topic on its own so i'm going to make the video for it so go to the description of this video and you see how to use the buy stop and sell limit then the next one now is this one here this executive order then here you can execute your buy your sell and then your loss size let me say you can increase the loss size or you can reduce this loss size you can put your normal st one standard loss size as one for people that have big accounts or you can just put in low okay let's use 0.3 loss size you can then after you put your loss size you can go ahead to buy or to sell okay should you buy or should you sell wait okay this is just my first time so that's why they, they have to accept their terms and condition and click on okay then let's go ahead and click on the buy order we have successfully purchased easy purchase or buy so if you go to trade you see our trade running in loss if you're in loss our rate our trade will be in red but if you're in profit our trade will be in, in blue this trade doesn't have any stop loss so if you want to add stop loss just touch that line that your buy that buy line that is there just touch it once you touch it then this symbol will come out so if you want to add stop loss click on stop loss this to come out then drag it to the place where you want your stop loss to be you understand then if you want to add take profit click on take profit and then drag it to place you want to take profit to be then you see this arrow pointing towards your right just click on it to take you to the place where you can execute your order see your stop loss here see your take profit here. all you need to do is just click on modify and your trade is ready running so our trade now have stop loss and our trade as well have take profit running perfectly well so if you are learning anything please like my video so look at it now we have stop loss we have great profit everything is just going perfectly well so guys if you want to close the trade just touch that line the way you touched it before then this close option will come out click on that close and then to take this place click on close and your trade it will be closed with that particular so this is it guys there's no trade running again and we're, there's no trade running here everything is now closed so, yes you can actually remove your horizontal line from your charts by clicking and holding then pressing that delete button there and it will disappear so that's it guys the next one is the screen if you touch the screen all this time come out it's just the same thing as normal time we've seen before this simple for indicator this thing for indicator is the same thing the simple for crosshair is still the same thing but we are going to emphasize more on these shapes so if you click on the shapes you will see different variety of shapes here if you want to add more shapes click on that plus button then choose the one you want we have triangle we have rectangle here we have fibonacci retracement we have rectangle we have the trend line here everything you need about shapes and objects are just here then if you want to delete any one then click on that delete icon choose the one you want to delete let me say i want to delete this horizontal line here i'll just pick it and then click on delete and it will disappear at once so now let's go back to chart guys 
look at our chart now the next one is this split screen if you click on it your screen will be split automatically by choosing new window when you choose new window you can see it's now split in two ways so in the, you can navigate it the way you like you can place trade in both of them you can watch them you can push them to your life you can change their time frame you can add any assets you want the way you want them i think for phone you can only split them into two for now for phone users but for other desktop you can split them into four so that's it guys you can as well change them to your required position like if you want them to be in horizontal just click on that place then choose this vertical tile then click on it the trade will now be in vertical order before it was in horizontal order but now it's not in vertical order so that's it you can as well remove them if you want just click on that place then go to take it somewhere like this just if you want to remove anyone just let me i want to remove gpsd click on gpsd and then click on remove or automatically they will remove it you see it's off we are now focusing on one chart now so that's it guys next one is trade let's go back to trade so in trade the first thing we need to know about trade now is this symbol here this symbol here is where it will show you about deposits and withdraw so you have to choose you have to have a broker you want to deposit to a broker let me say i want to deposit you click on it it will take me straight to my broker's website you understand and my broker's website is xness you can see xness there so you can sign up with my broker in the description of this video anyone you want xness will take it but now that's not why we are here let's go back to our meta data 5 and continue our tutorial i think the next one is this arrow pointing up and down if you are, if your trade is running you can arrange them the way you want them to be so can use them the way you want to be. The next one is this symbol here. It's just for market execution. So here you can execute your market. By first of all, you have to arrange your loss size the way you want it to be. Then apply price management. Input your stop loss and your take profit, and then click on buy or sell, depending on the one you want to execute. You are now selling the market now. So look at our trade running in loss because it is red. So the next one, let's go to chart. Let me show you guys something. So we are in chat. I want to show you another means at which you can add stop loss apart from the other means. If you click on the screen, if you touch the screen, then that shapes, click on that shapes, then go for your horizontal line, click on the horizontal line, it will appear on the screen. Then no, it's not appear to you drop it the way you want. Then click and hold, then click on that pencil icon, then copy the points, highlight and copy, then go back to your trade. If you go to your trade, shift the position to your left and then input your tp there you understand then if you want to add then click on modify then if you want to add stop loss this time around what you need to do is just go back touch the screen this one is not the same method just like before and then click on that object click on the uh, horizontal line and go then the pencil highlights and copy the points then go back to your tree then swipe it to your left, then the pencil icon is what you click and then impute your stop loss and then don't forget to hit the modify button and then your trade now have both profit, both stop loss and take profit now you can see them running perfectly and I've taught you the two methods of adding profit, adding stop loss and take profits so the next one is these symbols that are here, this first one means to close a position that is running so you can close a position by just clicking on this position, but I don't want to close now. The next one is swipe it, is this pencil icon. This one is to modify. Let me say I want to modify my stop loss. I remove this line and put seven. I then click on modify and my trade has been modified. This is a new stop loss now. The line has been changed to seven. The next one is this. The next one is this plus. This means you want to add more trade. This time around, you need to check your uh, loss size the way you want it to be impute your stop loss and then your take profit depending on the one then put sell or buy anyone you want to do so that plus means adding new position see on new position just added now so the next one is this chart it just means chart you click on it to take you straight to the chart of your running trade so that you know how your trade is running you understand so let me just the next one i want to teach you guys this new feature that mt5 just gave to us this time I don't, don't need to be closing trade one by one. This trade dot that is here, just click on it. It will bring out this option, close all profit, close profit table. Sometimes if you have what you say, close all loss trade. So you can just click on close all position and all position will be closed at once. So that's it guys. Then the next one now is let's go to history. If you go to history, here you know the trades are placed in week or in months. 
so the most important one is this calendar if you click on the calendar let's click on today's trade so you see what we have been doing all this while so look at it we are placed for today we actually made some profit by placing random trades so guys now let's go for last week i i added this ten thousand dollar demo account for this video last week so that's it guys so in here you can just add months anyhow you want it just history of all the trades you have placed within the period of time then the last this one is for arrange arranging your trades the way according to symbol then last one is the messages so this one doesn't have much to offer so guys this uh, this is the end of today's class go to the description of the video and sign up with any of the broker you are interested in each of them have a video on how you can create an account with them Please, if this video was very helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye.